click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello everybody, today we are going to discuss about snubber circuit. So friends, as we all discussed about the dv by dt triggering of a thyristor, so we came to know that because of dv by triggering, the thyristor undergoes unexpected triggering because of that the circuit conducts. So the circuit needs to be protected against the dv by dt triggering. So friend, let's see in this video how we can protect a thyristor against the dv by dt triggering. So the most popular circuit that is being used for dv by dt triggering or to protect the thyristor from dv by dt triggering is a snubber circuit. So friends, as you can all see in this circuit diagram, this is the circuit diagram of a snubber circuit. So friends, if you can see here, without the absence of this capacitor and this resistor, as you all can see, I have connected a resistor and a capacitor in parallel with the thyristor. And there is a switching device right here. So whenever this switches opens and this closes the voltage increases and voltage falls because this is called the switching voltage because of the switching voltage or we can say whenever there is a switching operation the voltage change with respect to time so there will be a dv by dt triggering so because of dv by dt triggering the thyristor is on it gets triggered automatically and the circuit conducts electricity and which needs to be avoided so friends here if you can see i'm connecting a capacitor and a register in parallel with the thyristor whenever there is the dv by dt triggering what happens is that whenever there is an unexpected dv by dt or unexpected rise in voltage with respect to time the capacitor conducts or the capacitor suppress the voltage and because of that the thyristor does not get triggered and the circuit is protected whenever there is a dv by dt triggering the capacitor conducts and the power is dissipated across this resistor so friends this is the stubber circuit that we use to protect the thyristor from dv by dt triggering just by implementing a capacitor in parallel with the thyristor if we want to get protected or if we want to protect our circuit from di by dt triggering we can simply use an inductor because inductor can suppress the electric current or inductor does not allow a sudden change in electric current like the capacitor does not allow a sudden change in electric voltage so friends this is the snubber circuit which is used to protect the thyristor from getting trigger which is not required or getting a sudden triggering of a thyristor is totally avoided using snubber circuit. Thank you so much friends for watching this video. Please stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you so much.